So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your fifth chatbot tutorial I guess in which we're gonna do something which is actually useful for our bot and actually which we can actually implement as well. So what I found on internet I just stumbled upon this website which is uh, it is I guess API dot yep this one so this is a kind of API for jokes right so if I add jokes and run into it you know it's kind of uh, lame jokes but uh, it would just do our work right so every time it just gives us a new joke a reload and it's kind of uh, Chuck Norris type jokes so Chuck Norris insists on strongly typed programming languages right so it's kind of a nerdy joke which only programmers can understand but uh, anyways you get the idea right so we can just implement this API and then send in the jokes whenever the user kind of requests that because you know if the user is saying shut up to your bot he don't want to send a joke in right so in our text editor we have pretty much everything set up and yeah one more thing that when you start ngrok again it would give you another URL right not the previous one now for that then you have to change the webhook URL then uh, for that don't just delete your whole app and then create again it's kind of boring so just go to your app and then behind under the messenger you would see webhooks and if you don't then just go to dashboard and just kind of add it and uh, when you open it you will see this callback URL just hit edit and just edit it here verification token is the same as this one which you are using right here this ABC123 right just do that I am already on that particular URL so right and uh, and if I just copy this and actually we don't need to go at this URL at all right so I have this configured and if I now message it something like uh, something well actually it wouldn't work right now because we do not have anything in the JS1 data as message right so add, let's add some text so now what I want to do is that I want to detect if the user is kind of saying like something like send me a joke or maybe tell me a joke or like uh, text me a good joke or anything you know so what we see here is that we can just break this down in uh, something like this that the user would make use of send tell or text words and then a joke word and uh, that would probably mean that the user is requesting a joke right it obviously doesn't mean that but we'll just assume that for the sake of simplicity of this program so I'm gonna say if preg match one would be good and uh, then what I want to say is uh, send tell text any one of them then anything right here and then finally if you have a joke then what I want to do and actually it matches the messages the message only if this happens then the reply reply is this API right there we have API right so again we need to just get it and uh, we'll just make use of file get contents because it's a one-liner and uh, then since you can see that's a JSON you need to JSON decode this so I'm just gonna do that right here JSON decode just true and again we need to make use of value and then the joke right so you can do that here as well but if you just kind of want to just make the code readable you can just change this to rest and say re reply is equal to response then what it is 
um, value and then joke right so value and then joke now the reply consists of your value and joke and uh, right here what I'm gonna say is message is a text again we we'll just take a look how to send the messages in form of like cards or images later on so one more thing which you might miss here is that just enclose your text in quotes right about user ID it doesn't matter very much because it's just a number you, this would work as well but uh, with text it won't work if you don't close and close this in quotes because it kind of gives you silly error that some sort of parameter is missing but uh, essentially your quotes are missing here right so yeah looks like uh, we are done right so if we take a look and save this file say this is my password and uh, ncrox running and up and uh, I go and say something and actually I guess we do not have that reply variable defined do we No. yeah so let's just create a reply first let's just say I don't understand ask me to tell a joke right so just in case if this doesn't match then I just want to send this one okay so now if I do like something and it doesn't work so it says me invalid data oh yeah sure you might want to what you want to do is that you want to escape the this joke sort of thing because uh, you know, it's coming from an API so you don't know what sort of input it is sending you in so for this video only I'm just gonna add slashes to this but obviously in real life implementation you wanna do a lot more than that if it's not your API because uh, you know this API could be modified to send any sort of text or response to your users right so what we can do is say add slashes and then this bad boy right there right and uh, you'll be good to go so yeah let's just check this out again and say something more hit enter and it still doesn't give us a very nice look invalid data again and uh, oh it's actually reply not joke there's no joke at all well actually there's is but the name of the variable is reply okay so now you can see that our bot tells us that I don't understand ask me to tell a joke so send me a joke boy and uh, it sends me Chuck Norris in his own line at the DMV and I don't understand what this is well anyways so you know you get the idea tell me a joke it would kind of work nicely even if you add a couple of words so hey you fact chatbot tell me a nice quick joke right so it kinda works because we are just matching the tell send or um, text words and then the joke words so it doesn't matter whatever else you send so actually this would also work do not tell me a joke <laughs> well it's technically incorrect because uh, it should not send a joke but it's kind of a simple application right so it would have flaws right so so that is how pretty much you create a bot which you can actually use in your life I don't know why would you use a bot for jokes but anyways so 
that is all for this one and in the next one what you're gonna do is you're gonna see different form of replies you can send like because text replies are boring kind of you can have replies as images or videos even cards something that's new with Facebook and it's kind of beautiful so we'll just take a look at that later on so that is all for this one and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one